guys, good afternoon, Rico Blake. Welcome back to the channel. Let me, I don't know if you can hear me. Let me, let me shut this off real quick. Okay. Um, this is going to be a little bit different of a video, different of a video, different of a video. I, uh, I got a new toy. I got a 2005 uh, Jeep Wrangler TJ. Uh, but anyhow, what, what, what we're going to do today, I bought, a, I, bought a, I bought a Jeep a while back, so I want to get up going into the hills and stuff like that. And I, uh, and I thought, if I ever get back into doing videos on a regular basis, that I would do a, like an off-road cooking series or whatever, where we drive up to a lake or we, we drive to the beach or somewhere and we cook some meals for you out, out on the go. And so today, I'm going on my first trail. I'm going to pick Jesus up and we're going on our first real uh, 4x4 trail. Not knowing what to expect, they said it's kind of easy speezy, so that's what I'm hoping. But I thought I'd take you guys along, see what you think, see if you're going to like this uh, this type of format. If we drive somewhere, show you some countryside, and then cook a meal. We're not cooking in this one because we had some issues along the trail, but huh, that thing's bent right there. That's another flaw. Any hoot, let me uh, let me get out of here and. Uh, Hope you enjoy the video. It's kind of fun. I, you know, I, I thought it was fun, but the Jeep, whole Jeep slid. Good day though. I'm not, not that upset. I'm all right. Welcome back to Rico's place. Oh man, guys, this is sketchy as hell, and this is the beginner for it. Oh yeah, look at that color. We had a good day on the trail. Uh, a little bit too good of a day. Learned some things. We do have, uh, what's the sensor that's done or the, the tranny thing that's leaking? Speed sensor. So a speed sensor, we found that leaking the other day. We put fluid in it. Uh, but I think there was more issues than just a speed sensor. So we, uh, engine light came on. We're not shifting, we're shifting rough. Got down here to the Napa and Lake Isabella. Did the code and uh, it's 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 transmission, so we're uh, we're waiting right now on a tow truck. That's an hour away. Good day though. I'm not not that upset. like the midway spot of the uh, freeway ridge uh, trail you can see behind me here we got what 1920 jeeps uh, everyone from gladiators to the old TJ's some are jacked up some are 
kind of closer to stock and uh, aired down. I learned how to air down. Um, pretty fun, liking it so far. All right, guys, update. We just took a little break, 20 minutes, you know, let the kids stretch their feet. People go to the bathroom and stuff. Rico's having a Coke. Holy moly, Batman, I'm tired. There's got to be jeeping and, and filming logs. It, you got to concentrate on this stuff. We just had that, uh, and you'll see the footage of it. We, had uh, a, we just had a real squirrely one. It's kind of fun. I, I, I thought it was fun, but the Jeep, whole Jeep slid. And uh, you like, you're like, are you flipping? Are you going to go into a boulder? We don't know, but we made it through. Now we're running a little sluggish, which I don't know why, but you know what? Jeep life. We'll check back in with you. If not on the trail when we get to the pizza joint. Goes iron back up. We're done with most of the trail. I guess this part's pretty easy. So after this, we're gonna go have some lunch or something somewhere nearby town. But keep you guys an update. This is not the freeway trail anymore. I believe this is the Jeep Gulch Trail. Dry Gulch. Dr Dry Gulch Trail. You know, this one is a little more gnarly if you guys want to try it out, you know. And just be careful. Easy 